Shalom, brother Yerach, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rachach Wadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom to the elect of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whom the Lord will have mercy on in these latter days. Shalom to the men of the Lord that are preaching and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Shalom. And uh, I want to uh, put this, uh, this quick hit, this lesson out here, um, just so the brothers. Um, understand as it says uh as the brother paul said actually it's not be ignorant of satan's devices um so i have a couple precepts lined up and i'll read this article um going into what will be basically the mark of the beast uh infrastructure you know so uh this headline here says ai plus iot which uh ai is uh artificial intelligence um, which is basically a, uh, a a series of uh computer programming like logic self-learning machine learning where the basically com a computer can teach itself to learn new things and it uh and it basically stacks upon itself you know um and then you have uh internet of things which is basically really all electronic devices that's that's uh that's definitely cell phones, it's uh, smart TVs, it's smart refrigerators, it's it's uh, all types of appliances and electronics, basically anything that's connected to the internet um, that has a, uh, but really anything that's connected to the internet has potential to be a part of the internet of things as uh, shortened to IOT here. It says uh, AI plus IOT equals a thousand times more dense networking environments. How Intel and NSF are planning for tomorrow. Um, now we know Intel is a major microprocessor company, you know. Uh, it says here, in a decade we could have 50 billion devices connected to the internet, more than double our current number. Not too long after, it could be 75 or 100 billion. So that's basically saying there's 25 billion devices on the network right now and uh they're trying to get they're trying to network it all together basically you know so when you see the, the level of technology that's developing you know these days and how quickly it's developing and really what they already developed that may may not may or may not have been released to the public yet you know you start to think in your mind revelation 13 and 16 so i'll get that real quick uh It says, uh, Revelation 13 and 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark with the name of the beast or the number of his name. So the main part is this, and he causeth all, you know. So you might wonder how does he cause all to be subjected to this well you see how many devices there are you know in use and now you have an entire generation even in china even in countries that aren't as developed and india as well uh countries that aren't as developed they are they are reliant on technology like cell phones you know so cell phones have become ubiquitous you know and that whole system is being used to map a network now all they have to do is introduce the chip you know and that thing will plug right into that network they already have a online uh version of you on the internet you know they're stored in in uh in cloud databases like off-site servers you know where all your information is housed and stored so all they have to do is tie a little number to an RFID chip and make it linked to a currency and you'll see very quickly how this whole system can just be brought in under this B system you know and Esau is going to try it it's, it's prophesied to happen it says smart connected things everywhere maybe the future but there's a problem how will we connect everything at such scale um, Intel and the National Science Foundation say we'll need help from artificial intelligence and they're actively working on that right now actually 
uh, I, I think it's I think they do have it fully developed, but they you know the public is going to be hesitant on it. You know, it says and mesh networks, uh, including potentially even SpaceX Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit. So SpaceX has a a uh, a project or maybe even another company called Starlink. And what that basically is, is they, they launched thousands, tens of thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit that uh, that span across the whole globe. They can get Internet basically, you know, anywhere, even deep in the Amazon rainforest. You can have a strong, a very strong Internet signal, you know, using this technology. Um, just going to show you, man, even though those those rural areas, Africa, uh, area parts of South America, all over can can get very high speed low latency internet and this is uh an invention done by none other than elon musk who also happens to be in charge of Neuralink, which is the uh uh the neural technology that they're using to plant basically a chip in your head man <laughs> you know and and john the baptist saw them these things getting placed in their foreheads you know, but but Neuralink is is at that the forefront of that technology to where that's going to be. So it, is this a coincidence? You know that that the guy that's doing Neuralink and also boring tunnels throughout all uh, parts of uh, California and, and other parts of the U.S. and he's also doing these satellites. You know, I mean, hey, th this is a major prophecy. You know, if you ask me. Uh, that this Elon Musk guy is, is playing a part of, you know, uh, it says traditional 4G networks that current that your current mobile devices rely on typically can support a region that has about 300 to 2,000 devices in a in their coverage area. Since Diaga Nanda Gopal, a deputy advisory director at National Science Foundation, told me recently on the Tech First podcast. We are thinking about device densities with tens of thousands in a small region going all the way up to the millions in a coverage area of a single site uh, in a wireless network. And it makes sense to thinking about density. Why? Because wh what are they going to do? They're going to they're going to congregate everybody up. You know, ultimately, that's what it's going to end up to. They're going to they're going to round people up in concentration areas, <laughs> you know, and uh, and these cities are going to be dr drastically changed, man. You know, they're just going to be run, you know, draconiously, you know. It says uh, it includes confusing, a confusing array of 4G, 5G, 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and potentially other frequencies all at once. And it's not just about people on calls or streaming media or messaging friends or posting to Facebook either. It's also about growing machine-to-machine -machine traffic, which is currently projected to be about 50% of the network load by 2025 you know so this technology man when i read this you know it, it, it stood out clear to me the infrastructure on how the mark of the beast is going to get rolled out i'm just scrolling through the article here um and you can you brothers can read the rest of this on your own you know it, it's it's clear man you know so uh as we all know the scripture, I have it here. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And this is something that we can't be ignorant of, you know. You can't say that the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip because it sounds so far-fetched, you know. You you have to think of it as a philosophy or, or, uh, or some other nonsense that happens on a wide scale. Because it seems like, you know, how was he going to get the entire world to do this? Well, you just read how far this technology has been developed and what they're planning to do, you know, and even how they're going to implement it. So uh, this is the last precept. It says, uh, I wisdom dwell with prudence and I find out knowledge of witty inventions, man. So this is a wise thing to stay watching, you know, and to be cautious of these things, to believe on the prophecies, you know. So, uh that was I want to get that real quick for you brothers hopefully uh, it made sense y'all were edified uh, call hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachakwadash Wa Abad Abal